uh, in the comments, somebody had asked if I would do an update on the build, and I've kind of talked about this before. I really won't be doing updates on the build itself because uh, to me that's kind of a personal thing. I don't really want to get involved in it, and I particularly don't want to have people trying to, you know, saying, oh, you should do it this way, you should do it. I know what I'm doing. I don't need advice from other people on that. So, as far as the build itself goes, there won't be updates of it as a unit, but I will be doing little snippets of, of this and that, of uh, little procedures and stuff, little tips that I think would be helpful to people. But, yeah, what I'm doing, okay, I'm building using the flattened logs. That's the way they were done around here. The only difference I'm using that had lumber maker. Uh, originally, the ones that were built, you know, they were hewing out, you know, the logs. But besides being a hell of a lot of work to try to do that, it would be very wasteful because right now I can cut them two slabs off and I can make boards out of them slabs. If you were to hew them out, it would just be wasted wood. You know, so, plus, really, the idea of working on these oak with a broad axe to cut, you know, a hundred logs like that, well, that's not something I'm going to be tangling with. But with a chainsaw, it works very well. And then I have the the wood I can cut boards out of. But like I say, the ones around here were built in that design and then the dovetail or semi dovetail corners. At least the ones that are still standing that survived, you know, because it was a good design. Uh, there was probably other ones put together in a much more basic, you know, saddle notch kind of design, but I'm sure they just dissolved away. But these dovetailed ones, they've hung together. You know, because there's quite a few of them through the whole Cheyenne River Valley. And you get into Minnesota, there's quite a few of them too, that are still surviving. So, that's, this is the design I want to use. Plus, it's an efficient use of your wood. You know, because otherwise, if you're doing the, the saddle notch corners, they've got to be longer because you've got that hanging out on the end and stuff you know so this is it just it's more labor intensive but it lasts longer you know it, it's the design I wanted to build you know this time around you know I've done the saddle notch thing but this way you can make use of big logs you know something like this you know you put this on the wall and all of a sudden your wall is a foot higher you know or over a foot but you still see it, you're not getting so ungodly thick. So that works good. But to do them, you know, I lay the log on here, tack on a two by six, and then run that hat and lumber maker all the way down, all the way back, boom, got a board, you know, or a uh, log. And I will say too, now there again, I, today I was not using the rip chain, I used you know, the other day, cutting them boards, I was using the LPX chain, which is made for cutting clean wood. But it's got the hardened cutters. Now, this was a DPX chain, which is designed to handle dirty wood. Well, uh, on a deal like this, I'm cutting through two layers of bark. You know, and the DPX chain has got them same hardened cutters, but technically it's not a rip chain. But it worked very well. You know, I was able to buzz down the back, not a big deal. So I'm gonna. I'm, I'm hoping that they come out with one of those <laughs> in the rip chain format. Would be nice, you know, with the hardened cutters. We'll see. Uh, there probably isn't that much demand for rip chains as there is for regular chains. So if they go to that, but this actually cut really smooth too, or smooth enough for what I'm doing. You know, so I don't really care. But like I said, now we'll cut these into boards, the two slab parts. 
This one I'll coat the end with pine tar and set it to the side with the other one. But I was able to get this is 22 feet long. You know, I need like 20, so I got extra to work with. But I'm going to get the tractor now and pull it out of here. But I thought I'd explain kind of how I'm doing this. But I'll park this one and then bring another one up and cut the slabs off that, and then I'll go in and cut out these. But I got some on the hill where I want to get them cut up, so I got room to put more on the hill. You know, because that's the only I only got a couple of spots where there isn't snow, you know, so I don't want to drag any more up until I got room for them. But that's the story. That's how it'll be done. You know, once in a while I'll give you a little snippet of, of the building and stuff, but uh, this isn't going to be a, you know, I'm not going to show you a blow-by-blow -blow build of this thing. The people don't have the attention span for that. This is a long-term project, you know, it isn't something, you know, I'm going to be throwing up in, a, in two months, you know, it isn't going to be done, you know, but I'm going to get more of a start, you know, I've got a good start now and I'm going to, but I will show you little things that you might find handy to know as I go along. But if I don't know that, you know, like I say, it's a, the build itself is a personal thing of mine, my own journey. I don't want other people getting involved in it. You know, it's just me doing this for myself. I'm not, you know, doing it as a, a YouTube thing. But there are things that'd be handy, like like doing this with a lumber maker. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. But there are the purists who would say, oh, yeah, you should be hewing them out. Well, I'm. <laughs> I'm closer to 70 than I am 60, and it'll be down to where I'm going to start hewing on oak logs. But chainsaw works fine. But like I say, now I'll just lift this one out of here with the tractor, drag another one over, lift it up on these. You know, as long as that's set up with this chain and this bar on, I'll go ahead and cut the slabs off another one. Then I'll start cutting these slabs up to make more boards, because I need them too. But what I've done is very little waste, you know, because this is actually the top of, you know, the boards I cut the other day, that was the butt end of this log. So that's a lot of wood. Now, plus, you know, there was a lot of branches on the top. I probably got a month's worth of firewood laying there. You know, but there will be very few scraps left over when I'm done with this, so it'll be just little pieces with bark on them. So it's an efficient use of the wood. But you'll, you'll see things from time to time.